not even 20 minutes outside of wherever we were sleeping last night and look what this toss has gone and done. What's that? It's my uh, brake lever. Don't uh. need it anyway. Broke my brake lever. Never mind. So far, 450k. Doesn't sound like a lot. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. Sun's coming in. Don't know what the time is, but I'm going to guess it's probably about 6:37. Probably more like uh, seven. 7:25. 7:25. Sun's finally coming in, but it's coming in on that side, and we're going over this side. So it's going to remain to be cold. My hands pretty, uh, pretty cold. The last bit was pretty gnarly coming up that, coming down and going up that rocky bit. It's also, it's, it's the next day, we got up, uh, just gone five this morning to try and make up for some lost time from uh, all the stuff that we didn't do yesterday. Decided to go a different route um, to avoid the cartel, because that probably is one of the reasons why I didn't see that well last night. Yeah, that's how we're doing. Peruvian chocolate tasting. It smells pretty good. Breakfast is I mean, it'll do. It's no, um, it's no Toblerone, but it's definitely chocolate. And at least it's not melted and out of date. Morale count? I'm up today. Yeah? I'm up to about an eight. Wow. Mm, because I'll... making progress, I don't feel ill. Yeah, I've enjoyed this morning, other than the, the one come off, I fell off the bike, went through a river, tried to avoid a cow pat. But you say we made progress though, are you sure that's not the same uh, f***ing mountain with the snow on that we went past yesterday? I'm sure there's lots of mountains with snows out there. Oh, I reckon that's the one. I'm sure there's more than one mountain. Nah, there's, just, there's just the one. And that's it. <laughs> Looks like we've got a bit of a Peruvian standoff here. There's a gate we have to get through. And this guy with the horns is guarding it. I mean, I've seen bigger horns, so that's not really my issue. Uh, this is a reverse. Reverse, reverse a. Offer him some grass. Well, it's actually, I think this is a lady with horns because those are like boobs to me. Excuse me, madam. So that's why, I've been saying senor. Excuse me, madam. Come on, come on. You sexy beast. You delicious dripping wet steak. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, beef burger. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who's a good cow? Who's a good Peruvian cow? You are. Okay, I'm gonna take off my helmet. Maybe it'll be less intimidating. Adam's just broken, uh, dropped his bike for the second time today. Snapped the uh, the clutch. Well, you'd rather have your clutch than your brake, right? Yeah. I might be able to fix this. Morale count? Um, that's, I'm gonna go down one point to seven. Yeah? Yeah. That's one to seven. That's a morale count at seven from Adam. I'll, 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 I'll be seven as well. I think I was already seven, I'm gonna stay there. the time over here seems to think that drinking the water via his filthy oil covered scarf is gonna filter it. Bear grills here, catching water in his pot. Oh. Blessing another baby. <laughs> Not the one. 
my toes are absolutely freezing and can barely feel them. Same with my fingers. I can't have my visor down because it's scratched from when I crashed on the second day and also when the rain gets on the visor I can't see. So I got my visor up and I got like mud splashing in my face, flies falling in my eyes. So then I've like got one eye closed. And I've had a couple of falls, didn't you? I did, yeah. Yeah. The mud obviously is then an issue because it's super, super slippy, very dangerous. The only positive is you can then see all the potholes because they fill up. Are we halfway yet? We're not halfway yet. It's three o'clock, I think. But we're going to make it tonight. Warm shower, Wi-Fi, I can feel it. Sauna. Where are we, Scott? We are um, somewhere, possibly in the Amazon. Don't know. But we're in, uh, we're in the jungle, we're in the rainforest. It's jungle, it's not raining. I want to see my hand in front of my face. It's been dark for about an hour and a half. And it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty sketchy. The little red light is my bike, but other than that, it's just total darkness. And we're driving into total darkness. Morale? Morale count? Seven. Seven, seven from Adam. Seven. I'm going to say seven from Scott as well, because uh, although it's quite scary, it's, it's also quite fun. quite fun, yeah. As long as we don't, I'm not even going to say anything else. Yeah. <laughs> as long as the puma don't come jumping out. Yeah. Watch out for that puma. It's now um, about half ten. We got here about half nine. Fifteen hour driving day. Absolutely destroyed. Driving in the dark for three and a bit hours was an experience. Positives would be uh, you can see when people are coming, unless it's a person, but you can see when vehicles are coming. And also you can't see the steep drop off the edge, so you kind of just feel a bit more confident. Um, negatives. This is just sketchy.